Uh, shares of Coupang are set to begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange today. The South Korean e-commerce giant, oftentimes compared to Amazon, just completed the largest IPO by an Asian company on, the US exchange, on a U.S. exchange since Alibaba. 2014, Coupang priced its IPO at $35 a share. That's above the target range. It gives the company a market value of $60 billion. So joining us right now, first on CNBC, is Coupang's founder and CEO, Bum Kim. It's great to see you, Bum. Uh, the last time we saw each other was in Seoul, and uh, here you are in New York. Um, it's uh, been quite a ride. The, 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 the former private valuation, I think, is now up six times uh, since effectively we last spoke. Um, let, let's talk about this company. Uh, for those who, who are uninitiated, we just referenced Amazon, but it really is Amazon, DoorDash, Instacart, all in one uh, in, in South Korea. And uh, it's a company I've talked a lot about. We've had you on the show before. Lots of companies have been trying to buy you for years. So here you are, uh, independent and uh, continuing on. Um, Talk to us about the path to profitability, if you could, this morning, because you've been growing wildly on the revenue side and the losses have come down. But what does it look like over the next couple of years? You know, I think we've been uh, fortunate to be working with uh, all, all my colleagues and investors who've been aligned and unwavering on the long term strategy. We're here because we, we've kept our eyes on that long term strategy to build real value for our customers and, and our shareholders. So I think we will continue to remain focused. This IPO now gives us resources to remain steadfast on that journey. And so we're really, really excited. So what are you going to do with the money? We're going to continue to invest in innovations like Dawn Delivery uh, and continue to invest in the regional economies throughout Korea, create great jobs, continue to invest in the technology and end-to-end -end integration. You know, Dawn Delivery, for example, Andrew, you might remember. Yeah, tell, them, uh, tell, them about, tell them about Dawn Delivery because this is something... Even in the U.S. With, with, with Amazon Prime, nobody has a clue relative to what you folks are doing. And I've been, I've been talking about sort of the, what you guys do relative to what we're, it's, it's like we're, we're, in a, we're almost backwards relative to where you guys are. <laughs> no. Well, you know, this is a service that allows customers to have access not to just convenience store level selection, but millions of items within hours. So, you know, an executive of ours had promised his son that he they were going to go rollerblading together, for example. And on Friday, he realized he didn't, hadn't bought the rollerblades. Because our Dawn delivery allows you to place an order as late as midnight and get it before 7 a.m., he placed an order for uh, rollerblades before he went to bed. In the morning, it was waiting for him outside his door, and he was able to keep his promise. And ha had those uh, rollerblades not been the right size, he could have left it outside the door, no packaging, no printed label. And because we're end-to-end -end integrated, our drivers would have picked it up promptly. And when they scan it in front of his door, he the refund would have initiated immediately. So it's not just free returns, it's stress-free returns. And that's the kind of experience Can that we've been able to build. Is this doable in any other country? And the reason I ask is <laughs> the density, no, no, but the density. So, so you've done something remarkable, which is you, it's a fully end-to-end -end business, but also the density of, of Seoul and of South Korea more broadly makes it possible to do this. And I wonder whether you think in other countries it could be done. Well, it's certain, we've certainly rolled this out nationwide in not only the, our most dense areas, but even our, our rural areas. Uh, but we're still we're laser focused on the Korean market. It's a $530 billion commerce market in just three years. We're a small sliver of it, and this is just the beginning for us. Um, let's talk about the competition. Uh, we keep referencing Amazon. Amazon's been trying to get into this market uh, for a long time, uh, if not buy you uh, outright. Uh, they just made a deal with uh, SK Tele through SK Telecom uh, to, uh, to, to work with uh, something called 11th Street, which is a competitor of yours. How do you think about the competition in the marketplace right now? It's a big market. As I mentioned, $530 billion. Lots of great companies will serve our customers alongside with us. I think we're unique in our investments in technology and end-to-end -end integration, not only in uh, Korea, but globally. Uh, the Dawn delivery service, the same-day delivery service, against millions of items, guaranteed nationwide. Uh, it's, it's a unique service, a unique foundation that we'll continue to build. Even packaging, uh, Andrew, uh, we've been able to eliminate you know, additional box packaging on 75% of our shipments because of our end-to-end -end integration. And now we have eco bags for all our fresh, completely reusable bags that's gotten rid of disposable packaging, virtually all disposable packaging, even for fresh because of our end-to-end -end integration. Our trucks, right. our rocket deliveries go through us. 
we pick up the uh, reusable bags with our trucks that used to leave full and return empty. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.